one thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. We've got money. Harden out there with DeRozan. Then it's Zach Levine, and it's Griffin in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Chicago Bulls. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. So, so active defensively. And I love when they did force a turnover, they just flat out attacked. The points they got off turnovers swung the game in their favor. And so it's the Bulls getting on the board first. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. I got a chance to talk about that. What's up? This is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys to attack offensively. He feels their success on that end will dictate their success through the game. So, guys, we can expect them to be aggressive early on. Great work, D.A. So at the top of their to-do list, Greg, generate buckets. Yeah, I mean, you can get all the stops in the world. Gotta think on top of the game plan is about sharing the basketball. If they do that, they'll be just fine. A, a unique type of player, Chet, with great length and skill. But the keys to reaching his potential will be durability and improving his strength. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And there's the pass to Giddy. to Holmgren. Back to Giddy. Kuzma with it. Shot clock at five. Over Levine. Kuzma, that's good. And Greg Holmgren is thin, but as we both know, he's very tough. He's aggressive and willing to take contact at both ends. He's also strong mentally. Can't wait to see what the future holds for this young man. Here's Levine. Following the basket by Kyle Kuzma. Poke loose, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. ball violation. Jump ball. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Griffin goes up and lays it nice and easy. Griffin's got his second basket of the night. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start for a four so far. Kuzma kicks to Giddy. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Off target from the wing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he moves on. And Griffin slams it in. Assisted by can make it so much easier for your teammate. When you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here's Williams. Last time out, he had 14 points. Here's Giddy. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. Yeah, not really much of a flow offensively yet, only 1 of 4 from the field. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. And first timer of the game called for Oklahoma City. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. They'll make the adjustment. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Kuzma. Giddy the pass to Williams. Here's Kuzma. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Kuz loves those inside shots, and he's working hard to find them. Here's Money. Down it goes Number for 13. his third basket in as many tries. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Gil just Alexander passes to Kuzma. 
pocket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Kuzma with a little bully ball of his own here. And so Harden will bring it up for Chicago. Seven point differential. Here's the three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Gilgis Alexander finds Giddy. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Bulls leading by 10. Griffin passes to Money. And Number it goes, jamming that one home. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Here's Money. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Count the basket. And how about the start they've gotten off to? They haven't missed it once. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Kuzma outside. Top of the key, Gilgis Alexander. That does not fall. Still looking for his first basket after three shots. Here's Griffin. No good from outside. Giddy with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. Pass to Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Passes to Giddy. Kicks to Holmgren. Four on the clock. Can they get it? They get it back. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Bulls leading by 14. Here's Griffin. And a missed late. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Knocks it loose. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. He's got the ball. Really seizing the momentum of this game. But it was a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area, just dominating, controlling that spot. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They put up a nice run against Utah last time out. You can see it in that game, despite the odds going against them. Once it got to OT, they had that belief and resolve that they could win it. But once they could taste that upset, they weren't going to let this one slip away. Ferocious in that overtime period. Giddy, no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. DeRozan scanning the floor. Shoots over Kuzma. DeRozan's shot is good. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Here's Kuzma, following the score by DeMar DeRozan. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. Lead pass was put in just Holmgren. the right spot. And, and Giddy with a little giddy up on that pass. Chicago leading by 16. And the Number basket 13. by Money. And that's 13 points for Money. So he altered his release, allowing him to get around his defender and then laid it in. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Now, here's Kuzma. What a tremendous game he played against Utah. I'm shocked he missed that wide open look. He has to feel embarrassed he blew that one. Oklahoma City had one of the all-time NBA trios, didn't they, Brent Durant? Westbrook, three future MVPs. I mean, I don't know that we'll ever see that again. Yeah, incredible, Kevin. Going to that finals in 2012, and obviously really young and green at that time. But unfortunately, Harden was traded away that summer. They took a hard line stance, and he was off to Houston. And just think back, would they have won titles together, and how many? Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. A little bit ugly right now. And over the years, Levine has put on the muscle, which helps him on those challenging finishes at the rim. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Boy, that went against the Jazz. He's another guy who really showed up to play. Unable to get that one. Griffin with some nice D. 
Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Gilgis Alexander finds Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. It's off the run. Chicago grabs the miss. Money's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Shot from 12. And the Bulls take on two more. Assisted it around. Eight of their last 15. 10 coming off of six. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. So team changing it up here. And the Thunder with the possession here. Here's Mann. Holmgren in the corner. Releases. Ball's not loose. And the pass to Joe. And a miss there on the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. To the paint, here's Hernan Gomez. Second shot opportunity, and the layup fires in for Money. Money's got 15 points. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Outside, Dort. Pass to Man. Here's Joe. Just five on the clock. Pass to Dort. Offensive rebound. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action Number here 13. for years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force the rebounding the ball. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Here's Mann. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Right side, ball. The shot, no good. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Trying to get something going. And that jump by Holmgren. Some heads up ball there from Dort. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Here's Money. Jane defending. Money, no good. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. Jang, the pass to Joe. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Now, Dort. To the right side. Jang with the ball. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Williams against Dort. Here's Money. Gets it to the ball from the right block. Money's got 19 points. Just looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Pass to Dort. But Trey. Money with the rebound. Money's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. And good that time. He's got 21. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And White slams it in. And at 6'5", White more than capable athletically. Like the aggressiveness there. The pass to Holmgren. It's stolen by Hernan Gomez. Good if it goes. And he got that one up in time, but That's doesn't go in. And the buzzer sounds. And the first, and we've got a blowout Whoa. underway here. The Bulls ahead, 46. running away with it. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. 
All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bulls. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the pound. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get there. Because right now there's a great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. They're going out there to Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then it's Josh Giddy, and it's Holmgren in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Number 13. And while we've got a moment, I send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Nets had a huge game. He ended up with 62 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind -blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. Gilchus Alexander finds Dory. Giddy with it. Pass to Dort. To end the run. Rebound by the Bulls. They're getting their first look at the Thunder in this one. Yeah, an interconference matchup, and these are two teams at different ends of the spectrum as Number far 13. as the talent is concerned. Assist and this has been a James great Hall. job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's George. Still getting one up offensively. Foul. Scoring it today. Josh and the foul called on Josh Giddy. That is his first foul of the game. The Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Thunder. And Chicago also making a switch. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for Lonzo Ball. Pass to Griffin. How hard. DeRozan passes to Money. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. In decades past, First teams that led the league in threes, if they shot Shooting that thing right now, would rank Greg dead last in the NBA. So with that thought, which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes? And that's a good one. Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? And they could knock down the triple. Here's DeRozan. Score the basket in the second of two attempts. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Kuzma can't get it to go. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the board has been impressive. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play going to the line for one. Chicago should have for the top of the free throw line right here. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Here's Williams. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. With that much needed basket, he finally ends that 17-0 run by Chicago. Passes it to Harden. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. The epic counts. Griffin's got 20. They are just killing them on the interior. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Kuzma outside. The pass to Giddy. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Just five to shoot. Here's Holmgren. Rebound by the Bulls. Money's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Griffin, no good on that one. So the Thunder will take it the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Harden against Gilgis Alexander. And that one, Alan good. Griffin. 22 points yes. for him. And wow, James his Harden. ability to score gets so much attention. Harden demonstrating why he's also regarded as an elite-level passer. Now, here's...
Here's Kuzma. He has six. Giddy kicks to Kuzma. From outside, off the mark. Now the Bulls with it. It's a 21-2 run. Totally rolling here. Griffin shot is good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Pass to Giddy. There's the dish to Holmgren. Pass to Giddy over DeRozan. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a Allen single field Griffin. goal made in the Assisted game. By well rounded number effort, 13. and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And the Thunder with the possession here. After the Bulls pick up two. And the shot goes in. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. Gilgis Alexander just getting better and better at creating for his teammates. Back to Harden. Back to DeRozan. Shoots over Kuzma. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Harden. Six points for DeMar DeRozan. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Gil just Alexander passes to Holmgren. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Good on the three-point shot. Gilgis Alexander's got five points so far. More and more promise here as a jump shooter as Gilgis Alexander has a solid three-point shot. The wide-open look here for DeRozan. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out trying to win this game. An all-NBA selection over his career. DeRozan is a savvy scorer, reads the passing angles, and looks for catch-and-shoot opportunities. Here's Giddy, following the score by DeMar DeRozan. Holmgren can't hit. Griffin inside, Allen, laid in with a nice Griffin. touch off the glass. Assisted. Griffin's got Number 30 13. points. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And here are the Bulls now. I mean, OKC's draft pick haul in the Paul George trade was massive. But the best part of that deal getting SGA. Number 13. SGA has been the face of the franchise the past couple seasons, and his game just continues to grow. He's signed all the way through 2027. Is he the first building block, or is he going to develop into a player that people covet, and they're going to try to pluck away? We'll see. Here's Gilgis Alexander after the made shot from Monday. Kuzma kicks to Holmgren. No good, unable to end this run. The uh, defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him Allen, to make every Griffin. single one of those. Assist well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead 13. right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Here's Williams. After Chicago, picking up a basket just moments ago. And the jump by Holmgren. Capable of running the offense, and now a new one for Gilgis Alexander. Here's Griffin. And the Bulls tack on two more. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Gilgis Alexander against Harden. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Here's Gilgis Alexander after the made shot from Zach Levine. Levine against Kuzma. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before that. I know that would change 
some things. First Both two teams five. deciding to change it up. Substitution on the court. Here's Joe. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pocket six. Here's Dort. No good on the triple. I, I just, I've not seen him shoot this poorly, guys, in a game this season. Here's Money. Here's Dosunmu. Feeds it to DeRozan. Six for six. He has ripped the miss from the field. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Outside, Dort. Now the pass to Joe. Back to Dort. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Over Williams. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Here's Money. He's got 36. Outside, White. Pass to Money. Two points. That one goes. Money's got 38 points. Well, White has quickly developed great floor vision. Doesn't miss the wide open man. Pass to Joe. There's the line to the hoop. And the jump by Holmgren. Holmgren. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley? -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Here's money, and it's what? Out of bounds, Bulls ball, Chicago keeps possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. So Chicago able to That's put out the first half with a score. Your Thunder, 27, the Bulls, 94. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Money. What a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters. Just disrupting everything. Yeah, and that's exactly what he wanted to do out there. Everyone he guarded looked uncomfortable. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. DeRozan out there with Harden. And there's Money. And it's Number Griffin. 13. And it's Levine. And at the three, the small forward. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Kuzma outside. Back to Gildas Alexander. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Holmgren wide open. The shot's good. Gildas Alexander making the play. Remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch, and now those big guys are everywhere. Money passes to Levine. And again, Levine. another assist. Assisted and that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Passes it to Holmgren. Back to Gilgis Alexander. DeRozan against Giddy. the wing Williams he's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game and the jump by Holmgren that is a product of pure effort guys I agree and that's nothing new coming from him GA he loves going to work on the rebounding going to work on the board stick with fundamentals there shot goes up box out or he'll destroy you. Oh, great Zach production Levine. on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. From the baseline. Second chain shot. The shot by Williams, no good. For Chicago, they've gone three of three from the field since halftime. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. The King said he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game, great vision, 
Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor. And he's showing it. Just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passes. David, thank you. Now, here's DeRozan. After the miss from Shea Gilgis Alexander, here's Money, and he Number shares 13. it with authority. Yes. And really the story of this Griffin. second half. One team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. Well, this team did something at halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Giddy, no good. The Bulls have gotten every shot to drop since halftime. They're five for five from the floor. Oklahoma City foul. Bulls have looked good at the line. That they're Third perfect in the attempts. First team foul. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for the Bulls. Number 13. Both free throws good for money. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Kuzma kicks to Giddy. And again, unable to change momentum here. Money passes to Griffin. And the layup's good off the glass. Griffin's got 36. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Kuzma. Six points for him. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Harden has a wide-open look. Another three for Harden. Chicago. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Bulls. Uh, they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. It's blocked. Jack Hogan. For Chicago, they've gone a perfect 7-7 seven seven from the field here in the third, coming out of the break very hot. Number 13. And the basket by Money. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Here's Holmgren. Oklahoma After City the made foul. shot from Money. Josh and the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Here's Griffin. And another Griffin. assist for him. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel. Actively seeking out his teammate. Get outside, get outside. Now here's Giddy. No points in the game yet for him. Kuzma can't get it to go. Now that's a shot right there. He's going to hit nine times out of ten. We just saw the 10% he doesn't. And what a great start to the second half. They've hit everything they've looked at thus far. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Five points in the game. to Kuzma. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Williams kicks to Kuzma. And just miss after miss right now. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Left side, Griffin. Over Williams. And another assist. 25 assists. What an Number unselfish 17. performance. He has been a sensational playmaker. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Gilgis Alexander finds Kuzma. Another miss by Kuzma. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. He sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. DeRozan against Giddy. The pass to Holmgren. Back to Giddy. 
Looking to get back on track here. Shooting oh, foul. foul as the whistle blows. Oh, He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. And one on the Rosen foul. Giddy at his side. Substitution on the court. Kuzma kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered closely. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this Very kind of hard. effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. Then there's Holmgren. Then it's Williams. And it's Kuzma in at the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at five. He kicks to Williams. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And here is Giddy. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines for the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? No, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, I, I think pretty soon we should go down. Get ourselves fired up. Fourth you game. Foul. Oh. Second team Come foul. on, Greg, I'm not sure about that, but you, Shooting you go ahead and do it. <laughs> Number 13. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Robinson Earls checked in for Holmgren. Chicago Williams foul. comes in for Williams. Harris Levert checked in for Josh Giddy. And it's Butler in for Gilgis Alexander. A solid passer at his position. Levert excels at finding his teammates when they're open. And the Thunder making a change here. Mann's checked in. Terry against Levert. They grab their own miss. Money. Yet another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Here's Mann. Here's Robinson Earl. Here's Williams. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And then they came out of the locker room. After half time with a much more physical approach than they started in the first half. Kendrick Williams. He hits both from the strike. And it's Rose with the ball for the Bulls. Driving inside. Number 13. And he slams it one handed. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Outside Butler. Pass to Robinson Earl. Over Herman Gomez. Robinson Earl, no good. Bull shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. Here's Money. Avert defending. And stolen by Williams. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. And that's how you do the impressive play. Explosive finish. Yeah, sweet finishes like that. You see everybody get up. Look at the guys on the bench. They're fired up. Here's Money. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First yeah, the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie, but Greg, those awards Shooting can end Chicago. up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hands. Here's Mann. There's three pointers off the mark. Here's Money. Levert grabs the miss. Yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. Man can't hit. Here's Money. 
And he converts Number the 13. Money, he's got 58. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Ball. Here's man. The kick outside to Butler. Six on the shot clock. The Thunder with another miss. The Bulls shooting 40% in the fourth. Here's Money. 14 feet away. Rebound by Butler. Levert with a wide open look. How good on the three. And here are the Bulls now. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Butler. Out left to the wing. Here's Mann over Terry. Two free throws Bulls coming foul. up, and they call the shooting Number foul. 13. Second personal foul. And the Teams first one. The At the line for your Oklahoma City. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so here is Chicago. Two minutes remaining in the game. Here's Money. Two minutes. And Number good. 13. He hits it again. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Man passes to Levert. Here's Man. Let's it go with the three. Money with the rebound. There's a minute 40 left. Ooh. Number 13. Okay. That is not possible. What we just... <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. Passes to Levert. Butler at the elbow. Pocket six. On loads. The Thunder with another miss. And for the Bulls, they're shooting 71% all in all in this one. They've been brilliant offensively. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration. I can safely say mission accomplished now for Chicago. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. In, in oh! Number 13. Play. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very Number decisive 13. victory for the club tonight. But the truth is they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight. Getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully Number in control 13. for this win. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride, so full speed. Number 13. And no doubt about it, in order for them to be successful, he has got to be a catalyst when it comes to scoring. There's the pass to Levert. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Butler against Rose. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First one on foul. Rose. And he makes the first. At the line for your defender, Jerry Butler. And so Butler nails both of them. And so it's Rose bringing it up for Chicago. Takes the 13 footer. The Thunder pull it in. And here's Levert. And so Chicago takes this one. And by a big margin, a resounding victory for them. And Greg and enemy territory.